Hey, how's it going guys? My name is Lipdeer20 and welcome back to Minecraft, where today I plan to do a little bit of a mining expedition. You know, we need a little bit better gear. I almost died last episode because of our armor, so gonna need to get some iron armor as soon as possible. However, before we go out exploring, we do need to empty our inventory here just a little bit. That iron would be useful for later on. I'll hold on to it just for now. But for the most part, we don't need some of these items, you know, kind of like a leather, wooden pickaxe. Don't really need that stuff. And I think this should be a pretty good inventory going on here now i do need some wood so i'm gonna go grab some birch planks over here and then we could actually use this beehive layer on as like a way of like getting some simple food and whatnot get a campfire going on that sort of stuff now let's see where do we want to go for our cave i kind of want to go a little far out let me actually make sure i don't uh don't lose my location here we're about 80 negative 220 got it Ooh, look at that cave hang on that one might be really good right here let's take a little bit of a closer look because i see some iron right down here all right i think it's somewhere up here if i saw correctly just a little bit past of these uh copper ore right here all right let me get some of this iron right here now let's make sure we have enough coal because i want to make sure i have enough for like torches fuel source all that stuff now we just need to find some more iron i want to make sure i have enough for a full set of armor which i see some up here i do see a creeper so we gotta be a little bit careful here and there we go okay Got a little too close for my liking there. I have to remember that I am in hardcore mode, so one misstep and I am dead. Like, that's it. Game over. Look at that. We got some more iron. Gotta get some of that, you know? Here's something walking. Yeah, I heard you walking around. Let me take care of you real quick. And we got some redstone here, so we should probably make an iron pickaxe here in a minute. But uh, let's see. We have 17. I think we need 24 for a full set of armor, if I remember correctly. And I kind of want to get armor going on first before getting, like, tools and whatnot. Okay, that's a skeleton. Nope, I'm getting out of here. Oh, wait, hang on. I got a bow. We can actually fight back. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Come here. Oh, God. I missed that shot. Nope. Okay, I'm running. I'm running. No, 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 no. Okay, okay, okay. I gotta be very careful. Okay, that's a couple skeletons nearby. Um, 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 nope, nope, not doing with any of that. Gonna make sure we're safe and sound. Ooh, I should probably make some torches here. Okay, that skeleton is still kind of like camping outside here. I'm gonna make sure we can actually attack him, I guess. Try to see if I can hit from this little angle. Ooh, perfect. Hang on. Ooh, out. That kind of, kind of hurt a little bit. Come on, buddy. Just one more swing, I think. Ooh, okay. Ooh, that was a little too close. I just need three more iron. That's all I need. I'm gonna kind of leave this a little bit closed up here. Have a little bit of an expansion slot. But leave it a little bit closed up so that way we can, like, camp back inside. Uh, let me actually place my crafting table as well. And a little bit of a torch here. And then we do need that little bit of iron over here that I saw next to the skeleton. And that should help out a lot right there. So I think, yeah, that's 24. Perfect. All we need to do is make a furnace now, and then we place that down and start cooking our iron. All right, we can make a helmet right now, so let's make that. Let's put it on. Hang on, we gotta see how cool we look. Boom. Look at that. See, at the very least, we need a helmet. While we're at it, let's combine our bows right here. Have a full bow going on. Ah, uh, look at that. We're so close to making a chest piece right here. And there we go. All right, let's make that chest piece right now. Very simple. And let's put it on. Boom. How cool do we look? Uh, pretty cool, I'd say. All right, let's make some pants because I don't want to be walking around pantsless now. I think the next big items I should make with iron should be the shield, pickaxe, and a bucket. Those are like really good major items right there because a shield would be super useful and a pickaxe obviously will be useful for like diamonds and whatnot. And a bucket to transport some water and lava. But here we go. Our final piece of armor. Boom. Now we're fully ironed up. We are Iron Man. Well, let's start making our way around. Find some more iron pieces. So I think the main things I want to do is at least get like a full set of iron armor and the tools. And then follow it up with getting like a nice little farm going on. Because we need to make sure we have enough food for the... Uh, for our mission here. All right. I think this is enough iron going on here. Let me make sure... Okay. And how many do we have? Eight. That's enough for a pickaxe, a shield, followed by a bucket. We need just a little more. If we want to make a sword, at least. We have enough for at least my bare minimum. Ooh, look at you hiding right here. Let me make sure. Ah, I was hoping there was more behind there. But I do think we need one more iron piece to go for the uh, sword here. Aha, I see one piece over here. And ooh, we got another one. Oh, God, there's a baby zombie. Oh, two of them. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. They are very terrifying to me. I do not like baby zombies whatsoever. 
Okay, please stay back. Okay, what am I being hit by? A third one. A chicken zombie. Oh, that's so cool. I'm not gonna lie. Terrifying, but cool. Man, that chicken still survived? All right, let me just kill you real quick. Ooh, we got a Skeletony down there. All right, let's make our way up to the top here. I do not want to stay any longer in this cave. Aha, sunlight! Finally! I mean, it's not like I was down there for too long, but still, freedom! I don't have to deal with any skeletons or creepers until it turns nighttime. But you know what? All we need to do now is start making our farm, and we should be all set to go. You know what? That would be a perfect spot to build, like, a ship or something like that. Have, like, a uh, shipyard going on. Like, either right there or right there, depending if it, like, leads into the ocean, you know? I might actually reconsider, like, moving. At least for a little while here. But let's go out grabbing our stone hoe, shovel, carrots, and all this fun other stuff and start making this farm now i don't think it needs to be too spectacular but i do want it to be a little bit of a good one here and i think up here would be a pretty good spot overall not gonna lie it's a nice relatively flat area and we don't have to do too much work around here i'm actually probably not gonna worry so much on the bee root side of things but everything else i'll probably focus on probably mainly the uh, carrots and the wheat because potatoes take way too much fuel source here and there we go we got full set of iron going on here or at least the full set that we got uh do not have any sticks there we go so let's make our pickaxe if i can actually make it here and then we need a bucket and then i think this is a shield if i remember correctly yeah there we go that's using my old noggin here and last but not least obviously the sword and we are set to go to go out for any battles. But most importantly, I need to make sure my farm is up and going. So let's find some water. I think we need to go down to the ocean area here. Like the ocean river. All right. One bucket of water. I think one of the coolest things people can do is like use glass bottles to make an infinite water source. If they have like only one bucket of water and a cauldron. Because you can like basically make an infinite water source out of that. It's so freaking cool. Or even without a bucket of water. All you need is a cauldron, a bucket, and uh, some glass bottles. And bada boom, bada bang. There you go. You got an infinite water source. And there we go. We got an infinite water source. So we don't need to worry so much about running back and forth now. So let's see. I need a good 8x8 area for one of the stuff here i think i'll start off right here so probably go one two three four five six seven eight that's a good little outline right here and all we need to do now is find out what the next location will be so one two three four one two three four so right here three four five six seven eight Oh, I went a little too far. Thankfully, it should not be too much of an issue here. It is also turning nighttime, so I should probably start heading to bed here soon. Ah, uh, peaceful slumber. I think I'm going to make it kind of like surround the whole entire thing with water. Just to make it a little more asymmetrical here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I need to make myself a new shovel because it broke. I think one of the scariest things you can have happen to you as a kid is when your tool breaks after like... Just kind of like a little while mining. Nobody has really said anything in a while. And it just breaks at the middle of the night. It's just like a jump scare right there. I will have to say, I do appreciate the fact that we have mending for our tools now. Because it was such a pain trying to, uh, trying to just repair your items before. Because, like, you had to worry about, oh no, do I have enough levels? Do I have enough resources? And it took so much out of you, you know? And, like, I don't know, it still feels fairly new, even though I'm certain it's, like, at least a few years old at this point. I will have to say, I think it's pretty cool in Minecraft. The best way to actually farm is kind of, like, alternate your crops so that way they grow much faster. And it's kind of, like, relevant to real life, you know? Because in real life, one of the most, like, famous ones, at least in the North Americas, is the uh, Three Sisters, I believe it's called. But basically, it's uh, corn, squash, and beans, if I remember correctly. And they each depend on each other to help, like, grow and, like, repel insects and all that stuff. And it's such a cool thing to, like, grow certain plants with each other. Like, uh, I think squash, or not squash, uh, strawberries and garlic is one of them. It's like the garlic, they help uh, repel the insects, because insects do not like garlic whatsoever. But it's just such a cool thing, you know? Know, just kind of nature in itself and just little fun facts in video games that are like hey you can do this kind of like in real life i will have to say though thinking about that stuff the best game for that has to be Metal gear solid 3 because there's a lot of stuff you can do there like if you wear white it's like a beekeeper suit so the bees don't attack you in that game or if you uh eat so much of one food or eat something poisonous it's not going to affect you negatively It'll actually start, like, giving you a lot of benefits, you know? And I'm certain there's, like, a lot more of that stuff that I don't remember. Oh, hey, we got a pillager. But a lot of stuff that I don't remember because it has been a long while since I played the game. 
as was the fact that uh i only really know this stuff due to like youtube and tiktok videos but hey we got a uh, ominous potion that's pretty cool you know i'm so glad they actually changed that to make it where you don't accidentally trigger a raid if you kill a pillager near some villagers but i am a little upset because i use that a lot for my like bedrock only uh what do you say pillager farms to get like a lot of iron and a lot of uh or not iron a lot of emeralds a lot of books that sort of stuff i understand why though they changed it because that was way too overpowered and there we go we got fully hoed down of cropland over here now we just need to get some seeds going on so this section will be wheat and i think i'll go carrots potatoes and then beetroot over there because i really do not care for beetroot and then we got the beetroot that goes over here followed by the potatoes and now we just need to make sure we have a nice walkable surface play some torches and our farm should be well for the most part pretty good and in the future i can probably like focus on multi-layering it or have it be more so like a proper farmland where it has like a windmill and everything um i'm gonna bring a bed because i do know it's gonna be sundown by the time we make it to those oak trees down there and i'd rather not deal with any creepers like last time hello cows let me get some of your meat here i mainly need your leather if I'm to be honest, which none of you, I think maybe one of you dropped it, but pretty much none of you dropped any. Let's go to bed, because again, I do not want to die. You know, thankfully, at least, if we do die, we don't have to worry about where our stuff is, because we won't really have to worry where our stuff is. Don't know how much wood I need. I think I'm going to go with a stack and call it a day there, because I don't want to go too overboard now. I think a smart thing to do would be getting, like, golden apples in the future for, like, boss fights, because I do know the weather and the uh, ender dragon is not gonna be an easy feat right there i will have to say it will be a little weird once we do get to that stage because i'll have to like actually grind and whatnot for my armor and tools because usually i'll go like okay we have something enchanted let's go i'll place a bed next to the stronghold like where you enter through the portal but now it's like okay we really have to make sure we're good and like not going to die in like two shots Ooh, we could also build a bridge right here to connect these two islands oh i have so many ideas right now Oh, but I can't build them all in one episode. It will have to be like multiple episodes. All right, all right. We need a bridge. We need a boat dock area over there. We need like a windmill for a farm over there. Oh, okay, yeah. I have a lot of ideas going through my head right now, and we need to execute them all as soon as possible. All right, let's make the little floorings here. Need to make some slabs and place you right there. So I think when I'm done with this, I'll actually make like a little bridge going on over there just to connect my house to the forest there, just to make it a little easier so I don't have to go down and up, down and up. Because scaling that mountain is not a good idea, especially if it's like nighttime and we have like not a lot of resources for like food or whatnot. Because that would be very, very bad right there. I don't know why I did not think to like jump inside the water. I was like hugging the outside corner, like the edge and trying to place the uh, slabs like that. It's not lava, it's not gonna kill me. And then actually, you know what? Let me do something like this, and then kind of go around the edges here. Ooh, hang on, let me cook a little bit here. So what we'll have going on right here is we'll place like fences all around, and we'll place torches on top of this. Ooh, ooh, I am liking this idea, hang on. All right, just got one more to go, and then we need to make some fences, fence gates, and we should have a nice looking farm going on here. Wait, 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 hang on, hang on. I am doing this very, very stupidly right now. I do not need to be placing logs underneath a log like this. Nobody's gonna see it, nobody's gonna see it. Well, I guess now you'll see it, but as long as we don't draw attention to it and we block it out of our memory, as a fully placed log. All right, let's go make our fence gate and fences, and we should have a farm at least mostly completed. All right, hopefully this is enough fences and fence gates, so let's see here. Ooh, you're almost fully grown. But I think something like this should suffice right here. And it will kind of like mirror everything all around here. One, two, three. And then one, two. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then one, two, two, three. One, two, three, and then one, two. And then we just keep on repeating that pattern right here and make sure that we are good to go. We need some more, uh, definitely need some more wood. All right, we need to make ourselves another axe before we continue forward. Ah, there he is. I was looking for that cobblestone. All right, so we gotta wait just a little longer for the sun to set. Come on, sun, set faster, please. I should probably focus on some windows as well. I'll probably do that as soon as we, like, start making our way that direction. Then let's make our cobblestone stuff right here. And I'll use all my cobblestone, because I'll pretty much do that for the, uh, proper bridge itself, but... Just want to get a good outline here. So I think around back here should be pretty good. I'll do it right here. Oh, creeper. Oh, Christ. Oh, shit. 
Oh my god. Ooh, that was a little too close for my comfort. I am so thankful. So thankful I noticed it's feetsies before it started, like, pissing at me. Alright, so this is our bridge for now. I think I'm gonna upgrade it to a wooden one in the future. Have it, like, kind of have it a little natural style, you know? Kind of like a rickety old bridge. But I think from here, we should probably start heading out from about here. About here would be a pretty good idea. And then for now, we don't need to worry so much about how it looks, but we should probably start focusing on that, like, when we get more resources. And then let me actually head back to our base here, grab some water, and then I'll have, like, a simple, like, up and down water elevator. All right, let's grab some water and head our way back to the little uh, bridge over here. And boom, there we go. Now we can go up and down very simply. All right, I think I'm gonna go for about a stack of wood here, kind of like last time. Don't think we need any more than that. So I do not think we need any more than that as far as the uh, fence gates go. Maybe for like the wooden bridge itself later on, we'll probably need to get some more wood and definitely for like more proper bridges, boats, that sort of stuff. Because all we need to do now is make some more wooden gates and fences and we should be pretty good as far as the, uh, as far as the farm goes. So let's make some wooden planks and then make some gates right now. Or right, those are fences. All right, how many more do we need? I think about this much should be more than enough. And then we should make the fences themselves. I uh, need to do this and that. And there we go. And if we have any left over, that's no big deal. We can always just use it for something else, you know? One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Oh, hang on. Three. There we go. And then we should be nearly completed. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then now it's time for the gates themselves. So let me make sure we aren't going to like lock ourselves in here. And there we go. Now all we need to do is get some torches going on here and we should be pretty good as far as the uh, farm goes let's grab a little bit of coal do we have any in here we have some torches but not coal so we do gotta go into our little furnace stash here now i think this should be more than enough as far as the torches goes for the uh, little area over here and we just need a few more spots two and one there we go Look at that farm. Ain't that a pretty farm? And then we should probably place some torches around here. Make sure we have like no mobs as far as the uh as far as the farm goes. So the last thing I want to do is have some creeper walk by and be like, hey, this is a nice farm. Would be a shame if I blow it up. And then all my hard work would be for naught. But I think the last thing I'm gonna do is start getting some sand cooking. So let me go grab some sand pieces. I know I have a little bridge, that little like forest area, but I think it would be pretty much faster going down this little mountain hill. How many do I need again? I think I need six. Let's go with eight just to be safe. Or you know what? I'm going to grab this whole entire top section here just to make sure we're more than well off here. And then we will have to be careful making our way back home because it is turning nighttime. But I do think this should be more than enough. Ah, I threw all my apples inside the chest. I was hopeful that we actually had some in our inventory, but does not look like it. All right, let's start cooking some sand here. We do need about six pieces going on. And then let's do this, grab this, make our house look a little nicer here, and go to bed. And now that we have awoken, let's see here. We could start making some food. We do need, ah, we just need two more pieces of wood. We have an oak tree growing somewhere. No, it does not look like it. And I am not staying near there because I don't want to chop down this tree. I think this tree serves a pretty good purpose here. So let me go out and do, oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. I am walking all the way to the forest for nothing. I have birch logs in my inventory. I forgot I grabbed that at, like, the beginning of the episode here. You know what? I do that way too often where it's like, oh, let me go grab this resource. And it's in my inventory already. And it's like, hang on. How did I get, like, 13 of this item? And it's like, oh, that's right. I had three already at the start of this, uh, at the start of this session. I really hate when it happens because it's like, oh, my God, I did all that work for almost nothing. But we have six pieces of glass. So let me make sure our home is a little more homely here. And then let's start making some food. But yeah, I have a lot of plans as far as the future goes. We're going to upgrade our bridge, upgrade our house, our farm, probably build some ships and whatnot. All this fun stuff. However, that will be for a future episode. So if you guys still like the video, please like, comment, subscribe. And without the wait, it's been Lifted20 signing off. Bye-bye.